Good morning, people. God is good. I got some word for you today. I got some word for you today. Did you know that by faith, you are made God's person? You are a person. By faith, you become God's person and he takes delight in you. You know, there's verses that talk about how when we delight in the Lord, he gives us the desires of our heart. But don't you know that in Psalms 149, it says that the Lord delights in his people and to the humble, he gives them a crown. So the Lord delights in you. Remember that when you have faith, the Lord delights in you. So, so the question I guess is, if you want God to delight in you, how, how do you become his person? Is it by being a really good person? Is it by going to church every single weekend? Is it by praying every single morning? Is it by reading the Bible every single morning? All those things are good. And yes, when you become God's chosen person, that is stuff that you're gonna grow in and gonna wanna do and experience his presence and allow him to come and delight in your presence as you delight in him. But I'm gonna tell you how to be made right with God and let us never forget, no matter where we are in our faith, no matter how long we've been a believer, no matter how many good works we've done, no matter no matter how long we've, we've, we've been in this faith or in church, let us never forget the simplicity of this gospel because when we forget the simplicity, we start to get all sorts of whack doctrines and we get all sorts of, of whack theology and whack thinking that we miss out on so much because we don't understand that we're made righteous by faith. So let me dive into this here. Thank you, Jesus, for this day, God. Thank you for your love for us, Lord. Thank you for your anointing, God. I just pray that your oil would, would come and fill us, Lord, with your truth, your basic, simple truth about being justified before you by faith. God, thank you for your people, God. And I pray for every single soul and every single ear that hears this, Lord, that they would be set free from the bondage of works, that they would be set free from the bondage that the world puts on them, and that they would understand that they can be, cho that they can be a chosen son, adopted son and daughter of the Most High God. So in Jesus' name, we love you, Lord. I thank you in Jesus' name. Name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Let me read this couple verses here. This is in Romans chapter 10. And uh, Paul is talking to the people about how Israel was God's chosen people for the old covenant. But then it talks about how to really be made right with God and how to really become a child of God for real. And this is the thing that Israel rejected. They rejected the Son of God. They didn't believe in the Son of God. They didn't believe who, that Jesus was who he said he was. They didn't believe that what he did was what, what made them right with God. No, they rejected it. So let me read Romans chapter 10. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, the longing of my heart and my prayer is for the people of Israel to be saved. I know what enthusiasm they have for God, but it is misdirected zeal. For they don't understand God's way of making people right with himself. Refusing to accept God's way, they cling to their own way of getting right with God by trying to keep the law. For Christ has already accomplished the purpose for which the law was given. As a result, all who believe in him are made right with God. I love that verse right there. I love that verse right there, verse 4. For Christ has already accomplished the purpose for which the law was given. The law was given to be kept perfectly. But nobody kept it perfectly. Christ kept it perfectly. He accomplished its purpose. So let us not be caught in the old wineskin, but let us live in the new wineskin of grace through faith in Him. Because He lives in you and God delights in you. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So now verse 5 goes on to say, For Moses writes that the law's way of making a person right with God requires, requires obedience to all its commandments. What did I just say? Verse 6. But faith's way of getting right with God says, but faith's way of getting right with God says, don't say in your heart, who will go up to heaven to bring Christ down? And don't say who will go down to the places of the dead to bring Christ back to life again. In fact, it says that the message is very close at hand and it is on your lips and is in your heart. And that message is this very message about faith that we preach. If only you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. As the scriptures tell us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Who needs to hear that? Who trusts in God today? You won't be disgraced. I prophesy to you, you will not be disgraced. The Bible also says that those who look to him, they're radiant. It says that they won't be put to shame. <laughs> Guys, hallelujah, Jesus. All right, let's just keep going.
Jew and Gentile are the same in this respect. They have the same Lord who gives generously to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Don't get conceited, people. Don't get prideful. Lord Jesus, help us not to get puffed up in our works. Help us not to get puffed up in our performance. Lord, help us to not be so self-conscious and sin-conscious, but help us to be conscious of what you have done on that cross, Jesus, that all that matters is what you've done on that cross. So I stand in the righteousness of God. I stand as a servant of the Most High God in his righteousness, not of my own, not of my works, but according to what this word says, I am justified by grace through faith in Jesus' name. Remember that today. It doesn't matter about how good or bad you look or what you said or what you did. Maybe you've hurt somebody. Maybe somebody's hurt you. None of it matters when we get back to the basics of the gospel is that Jesus is Lord, is that he's coming back. Those who trust in him will not be put to shame. So put your trust in Jesus Christ today. In Jesus' name, amen. God loves you.